Hey guys, I just got finished another crazy shift here at work and I was packing up my stuff and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you what a typical aircraft mechanics toolbox looks like and, and what we use. Kind of to help people out who are looking to get into the in industry or are just starting and kind of want to expand their collection. Uh, I've been doing this for coming up on five years now and this is kind of where I'm at so far. I'm, I'm still building. It's it's obviously a never-ending process, but thankfully us aircraft mechanics, we really don't use very big tools, uh, big expensive tools, I should say. And uh, so yeah, to start off with, this is a international super heavy duty series toolbox. Uh, I got it at Costco a couple years ago. I think I paid like 1,800 Canadian pesos for it, taxes in. Uh, it's clearly not a snap-on. I just put that on there for shits. And um, yeah, it's it's really nice box. 24 inch deep. It's kind of a must, I would say. Big, nice like, work surface. Um, uh, don't put a hutch on your toolbox if you're an aircraft mechanic, because you won't be able to roll it underneath wings and such. Like, just get yourself a tool chest with a big work surface on top, and you'll be golden. Anyway, I'm running out of memory, so I'll have to keep this quick. Uh, top drawer, this is the stuff we're going to use every day. Um, mainly quarter inch drive stuff. Like, I can't remember the last time I used 3 8 drive anything or half inch drive anything. Like, I use those for breaking down uh, prop hubs and stuff, but that's, that's like about it. So get yourself a nice uh, quarter inch drive socket set. Shallow, deep, 12 point is another must must be 12 point also have your backup six points on hand too but uh, don't forget you will need 12 point socket sets uh, and to go with them you'll need to buy get yourself an assortment of quarter inch drive ratchets I have six of them here again you use these more than anything else and me personally I always for some reason and I don't know why I end up grabbing this thing Everyone in the hangar here has one. I know a few other mechanics in the industry that uh, that have this as well. This is the Mac MR4C. Fantastic little ratchet. As you can see, it's tiny, like really small. Gets into places really nice. Good tooth count. I don't know what it is about this thing, but I always, like I say, I end up grabbing this over the other stuff more often than not. If I need more torque, I'll use the the bigger ones, but uh, mostly use that guy. The 3 8 drive stuff, don't worry about spending too much money on. Uh, don't need to get anything fancy. Same with the half inch. You just get a big dumb Craftsman or Mastercraft half inch uh, ratchet. Doesn't need to be spectacular. This is more of a luxury. You won't need this right away. This is a just a quarter inch torque wrench. Most of the shops you'll be working for will have this stuff provided to you. Uh, and they have to go out every year to get recertified and stuff. I just bought this because it was it was on sale and uh, I was tired of having to go into the tool crib to get a quarter inch torque wrench every time I needed it or fighting with somebody else who was using it and uh, yeah that's more of a luxury you'll want one down the road but you don't need this right away I don't you don't need to waste money on this right away um, get yourself a lot of good extensions these are i would highly recommend these these are the quarter inch drive snap-on wobble extensions these things are friggin handy i uh, love those things bunch of other extensions nothing too critical these are another luxury not a must but uh, they do come in handy when you need them. These are uh, these aren't snap-on ones, but snap-on do make the best ones. These are uh, quarter-inch drive universal, 12 point. Even if you're gonna buy the snap-on ones, make sure you get the 12 point. Uh, when you need them, they're friggin' awesome. Um, what else? As far as wrenches go, uh, you don't really need anything too fancy. I would say. Which is Get yourself an assortment of different varying lengths and stuff. These ones I only bought because I got 50% off them back in college. But I don't, you don't really need, in my opinion, expensive wrenches like snap on flank drive stuff. And people are going out and spending ridiculous money on wrenches as an aircraft mechanic because, frankly, the, the torques we're putting on 
little 3 16 bolts and quarter inch bolts it's, it's not enough for me to worry about spreading even the cheapest wrenches like I, I could give a shit like these are Mastercraft ones from Canadian Tire and I paid like nothing for them and they work just fine so I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend spending ridiculous amounts of money on wrenches just get a variety of them stubbies for sure bonus points if you get one a set with 11 30 seconds in it um what else up here oh lighting a flashlight a, a very spend good money on a flashlight that is one thing i will say and uh also spend good money on a on a very good headlamp this thing's going to be on your head for most of the day and this will be in your pocket and you're going to these are going to be chewing through batteries like nobody's business but at the end of the day you're normally not going to pay for it the hanger does and you're going to want something nice and bright you can't afford to miss cracks and, and shit if you if you can't uh, get good lighting on it like i skimped on flashlights for a while and i'll never go back like these these are Highly recommend getting decent flashlights. Your job kind of depends on it as far as inspecting things. That's pretty much it for the top drawer. Um, going down, screwdrivers. Don't need, don't need anything too fancy. Uh, most of the stuff you're going to be dealing with will be like in Phillips, so get yourself good Phillips bits. Uh, other stuff like quad wings, you'll see tri wings, um, common screwdrivers. Would highly recommend this snap-on uh, screwdriver though. I've had a Mac one, I've had a few other ratcheting ones, but mm, this is still the best uh, ratcheting screwdriver. Bar none. Spend the money on this. This is a this is a very nice ratchet. Get yourself also a little bit driver, 90 degree. I use this thing a ton too. This is actually a Stanley. Got that at Canadian Tire. The other ones whatever these are mastercraft ones from Canadian Tire as well they work just fine when i need them but i only ever really ever seem to use this anyway uh big long ones for breaking loose um, strip screws You're getting good torque on stuff highly recommend long screwdrivers uh cotter pin puller definitely get one of these makes just pulling them bastards a little easier uh get yourself I just snapped my other one. Get yourself a decent awl for it. it works great for lining up like interior panels, exterior panels, um, for holding something for you temporarily until you can get a screw in. It, it, get yourself a few of those. Uh, a few tiny little instrument screwdrivers. I don't use these much. I'm not an avionics guy, uh, but I do use them sometimes. Uh, coming over here, another wrench drawer. Definitely get yourself a set of offset wrenches. Again, this is normally snap-on territory where you see these, but uh, I spent 60 bucks on this set, and it goes all the way from 3 8 to I think inch and a quarter at uh, Princess Auto. Uh, they're the same angles as the snap-on ones. They're a little thicker, and they don't feel as nice, and the steel's probably not as good a quality, but again, I'm, I'm not worried. I've never spread open the open end on this on these things with the torques we're putting on stuff And I've not once Been unable to get into a spot with these that one of the snap-on ones was able to get into so If you want you the snap-on ones are nice. Don't get me wrong, but until you're feeling rich these do just fine um Ratcheting wrenches, box ends, obviously you get yourself a set of those, both long and stubby. These, I never use these, these, never use that. Speed handle, get yourself a speed handle, preferably one not like this, but with a big knob on it, like a tractor early power steering knob. One that you can lean into because speed handles are fantastic for taking out strip screws. So get yourself one of these, but look for one with a big wood knob on the end, not that. Um, ignition wrenches, also highly recommend these. These don't have to be anything fancy. These are all, I think, Craftsman. You can see some are bent because I had to use them to get into tight places. 
got some offsets and some box ends. Get both. You can never have enough ignition wrenches. They will save you. Um, coming down the pliers. Uh, the ones you're going to use most of in here are lock wire pliers. These are Mac Tools ones that are not that good. I wouldn't recommend these. I just keep running them. They're non-reversible and this is my, I think, third pair I'm on. But they do the job for me. Millbar makes some really nice sands. Uh, Snap-on does too. Flush cutters for cutting uh, zip ties flush so you don't scrape the next guy's forearm up who's reaching into shit. These Cobra, I think they're Nipex Cobra, they're called or something. These are great for bending over cotter pins, but aside, besides from that, they I don't really use them for much because of the jaws on them. You have to be careful, they're going to eat into everything you touch. But still, great pliers. Duckbills, get, your, get yourself duckbills. Um, just basic side cutters, needle nose pliers, bigger side cutters. Highly, highly, highly recommend these Snipex smooth jaw things here. These things are friggin' awesome. Um, again, I suppose it's a little more of a luxury, but if I was just in the industry again and had some money to burn, I would definitely buy these uh, a lot sooner than I did because I always was borrowing other people's, and it is fantastic now that I have a set. I love these things. Get yourself also um, high leverage cutters for cutting big ass uh, cotter pins and stuff. Um, a few other odds and ends. Actually, these little forceps work fantastic too at times. Uh, this isn't a bad idea. These are cheap to get and uh, do come in handy. So I would recommend those. Um, boil this or just some more pliers. We don't do much sheet metal around this hanger, so I don't ever really use these tin snips a hell of a lot. Um, some cheap wire strippers, same here too. Crimping tool. Again, you don't need to spend copious amounts on this sort of stuff right away, especially if you're not an avionics uh, tech. Like, I, I don't do much of this stuff, but when I do, I have it. Um, Modified slip joints for these stupid clamps that Beach keeps putting on some of their most of their machines nowadays. Just a few other odds and ends. Uh, these are great for when you go in the bush and you have to uh, take a wheel nut off the machine. Um, what else I got down here? Just not much paperwork that I can't get rid of just yet because I want to figure out if I'm going to get in trouble or not over it. If people come looking for it, so I hang on to it there. Uh, scrapers. Get yourself a half decent set of uh, hex keys as well. Recommend those. These actually snap on scrapers. Highly recommend these. This little set here. I don't know what the part number is. There it is. These are friggin' awesome for scraping PRC and stuff away in silicone. Highly recommend those. Uh, in this drawer, get yourself a cordless drill. Don't so much need the impact as you do this one. Cordless drill for uh, getting things done on time, not hand bombing every screw. Um, what else in here are you going to need? Just a sort of drill bit set. These easy outs, I don't know what it is about these, but like I have the good snap on ones here for taking out like number 10 screws, but I always end up going for these like. K entire Mastercraft Chinese. I don't know what it is about these things, but this one alone right here has probably taken out a couple hundred screws, strip screws, and it's still it runs flawlessly. Like I, I use these more, and I find they work better than those really nice snap-on ones. Um, get yourself die grinders, small air tools. Uh, they come in handy as well. Uh, running out of room so I gotta speed this up hammers you still need them on aircraft even though you gotta be a little more gentle but you don't need big crazy sledges or anything brass punches setter punch these spring punches are great for smashing out rivets like fantastic for smashing out rivets even if you miss drill the hole it'll it'll save your ass 
a axe file is fantastic for uh, dressing aluminum propeller blades. Recommend that if you're going to be working on uh, on, on prop machines. Um, this is just my kind of I don't know electrical tester drawer. Freaking hole saws here. Never use these on airplanes. I just keep them there. Caliper up here. Uh, more easy outs here and tap and die set. Uh, just general wiring and circuit breakers and test lights and alligator clips. Not much going on there. Um, and bottom drawer is more just kits of stuff like uh, um, bearing pullers. Haven't used those here. Um, snap ring pliers. Big set of them there. And uh, what else do I got? Oh, I just picked these up from Amazon. These are offset thin wall wrenches and I've actually already used them a few times these are friggin awesome as well cheap so get yourself a set of these it works great for when you can't fit a full-size wrench in to undo lines and stuff like it's it's they work great for that but uh, yeah besides that this bottom drawer a few spares that I probably am not supposed to have in my box, but you're going to have some anyway. Uh, save hydraulic lines and oil lines for testing later on, like for hooking up test units, because these actually come in handy. These are Timex. They were taken off an airplane, and uh, I held on to them. And I use these all the time for, for various uh, troubleshooting, especially. Um, uh, what else can I show you? That's pretty much it, I would say. But uh, yeah, all in all, um, it's really, like I said, it's kind of nice, the aircraft mechanics. I have way less money in this box here than uh, a typical heavy duty mechanic would, even at my stage in my career. We just don't use big tools. Uh, the quarter inch drive stuff is, is more popular than anything. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm not one of those people that say that figure you have to have the best best of everything but uh, the stuff I did just point out to you um, or the stuff that I made a point of telling you to spend the money on is what I would recommend spending a little extra cash on it'll just save you headaches uh, in the future and uh, until you get set up making more money then you can upgrade as as you progress but uh, anyway now I'm just rambling that's pretty much it uh, if you have any other questions feel free to feel free to ask and uh, hopefully I can help some people out here who are who are just looking to start in the industry all right guys talk to you later